It's no secret that the most straightforward path to accumulating wealth is taking advantage of the power of compound interest. According to Wikipedia, compounding is the process in which an asset's earnings from either capital gains or interest are reinvested to generate additional earnings over time. Basically, reinvesting all the profits earned from your investments back into the asset itself will allow you to grow your wealth at a much quicker pace. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does that have to do with making coffee? What if I told you that you're already applying the power of compound interest whenever you pull a shot or make yourself a cup of coffee? In this video, I'd like to take a step back and explore the effects or more specifically, the compounding effects of making yourself coffee on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're new here, welcome. I'm RJ. On this channel, I talk mostly about the machines or gadgets we use and the routines we follow to make our next cup of coffee even better than the last. If that sounds interesting, then consider subscribing by clicking the button below. Without further ado, let's proceed. If you've ever made yourself or someone else a cup of coffee, then you're familiar with the feeling of flow. I've recently been thinking about the power of routines and how our day-to-day -day actions compound over time. I've started following a pretty simple routine which has the basics such as a morning ritual to put on sunblock, some morning stretches, and also working out. Despite everything I try to add or cut to my day, I always find time to make myself a cup of coffee. I started to analyze if the opportunity cost of making coffee each day would outweigh the benefits of using that time somewhere else. As an example, if you make coffee for at least say 15 minutes a day, that is a total of an hour and 45 minutes throughout the course of a week. There are so many other things you can do with that one hour and 45 minutes. That's an entire movie you could have watched, but instead, you chose to follow a set of steps to make coffee each and every single day. After thinking about it for quite some time, I have to say it's definitely worth it, but not because of what you're thinking. To me, it's worth it, not just for the caffeine itself, but because of the three things this repetitive routine has made me realize. Making coffee taught me the power of compounding effects. How does a term that originated in the financial world relate to something organic or something that we do with our hands? My first ever device to make coffee was the AeroPress. I got the AeroPress because there was an accessory you could buy to make faux espresso. Along with that, I decided to buy a cheap hand grinder and I thought I was set. The messy process would look something like this. I would measure out 22 grams of coffee. I would grind that using the lowest possible setting by hand. I would then put the grounds in the AeroPress, then steep it for like a whole minute just to extract as much caffeine so I could add steamed milk later. It was no espresso. It was more like French press than anything, but in all its imperfectness, I found my very first coffee routine. And that was my process for quite some time. It took me around six months before I decided I wanted to invest in a proper espresso machine. There is one constant thing for all of us, and that is our coffee workflow. The steps we follow in order to extract espresso, or the process in which we create something. While I'm aware there are numerous ways to learn about compounding knowledge through other activities, experiencing it through making coffee allowed me to digest it in a way that made it stick to my brain. First off, the process to make coffee end to end is relatively easy, or at least straightforward. Second, I love coffee, so having one cup of coffee each day is a no-brainer for me. Those two factors allowed me to do something repetitively to the point of it being second nature to me. It enabled me to take a step back and measure my growth from my very first cup of coffee back with the AeroPress and the hand grinder all the way to today with my Gajuino and Niche Zero. I'm not a professional barista. I don't have the ability at all to participate in a competitive event, but by comparing my current self from my past self and measuring how much my process has grown, I can't help but think how many things I've learned along this home barista journey. Each learning was aided by the previous learning and through a buildup of experience and practice, I was able to see an improvement in my routine and workflow. As Annie Duke mentioned in her book, Thinking in Bets, the benefits of recognizing just a few extra learning opportunities 
compound over time. The cumulative effect of being a little better at decision making, like compound interest, can have huge effects in the long run on everything that we do. Being able to experience this feedback loop in a relatively straightforward manner and in an isolated activity really solidify the power of compounding effects for me. Making coffee immediately transports me into a state of flow. According to Wikipedia, the flow state, also known colloquially as being in the zone, is the mental state in which a person performing some activity is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus, full involvement, and enjoyment in the process of the activity. Making coffee introduced me to an environment that I could completely control, removing all the other external variables and forced me to see the process as clearly as possible. There are two reasons why you would want to achieve the state of flow. The first one is to achieve the feeling of happiness and contentment, and the second is to make the process in which to achieve any goal manageable. Which brings me to my last point. Making coffee taught me the value of creativity. Having a morning routine gives me some quiet time before the massive doors of information and content open and consume me alive. We are often immersed in the act of consuming. There is just so much content out there, it's crazy. Having a daily routine grounds me and forces me to see the other side of that process and maybe lean in towards the opposite direction. These three things combined has given me a shift in my perspective. What if I devote more time into creating rather than consuming? I don't think I consider myself a creative person. I find solace in my technical skills and in following a straight path or guide to achieving my goals. Expressing my creativity is incredibly scary for me. But as technology gets more advanced, I find myself seeing more learning opportunities in creative pursuits rather than isolating myself to technical skills alone. My coffee routine has taught me things can start out rough and messy, but with enough time, practice, and through the miracle of compound interest, or rather, compounding knowledge, each of us can do or become anything we want. I hope this video gave you a different perspective on our day-to-day -day actions and how powerful they can be. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.